Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are starting off inside this Bergman's fruit and vegetable store. And you might be wondering, like, what are we doing here? Well, this is the first place that we're going to take from Ingrid today. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, if we look at the weekly income for Ingrid currently, that is the best and most profitable place for her. So currently it costs 2 million to buy out essentially, but we're only sitting at 2 million. So we don't have enough to really take over just yet. I think if we go over one more day with two and a half million, I think we'll be okay to buy her out on this particular location. But if she does not allow us, we could try to, you know, pick off her smaller things here and just move on up instead of going from top down. So let's get a day moved forward here and check out and see if we can buy out Bergman's real quick. So that leaves us with like 2.48 million. We'll try from that. We're going to order a payout. Well, actually it's more than that. I forgot I had still some in there. So we have 4.1 million now. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. We're going to start off with her most profitable. We're just going to do 200 or yeah, 2,250,000. Let's try that. Boom. Two and a half million gone. It's mine now. Let's temp close this place. That's fine. We'll just leave that is as is. Get rid of this. Switch that on. We're going to get rid of all the employees right now. Oh, that's cool. They added a pay bonus. All right. All those people are gone. The place is temporarily closed, which is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. All right. So we're down to 1.6 million. Let's see what we have next for Ingrid. Look at that. We took her down all the way to 20th. 1.8 million. Okay. So we can't afford that just yet. 1.3 million. We might be able to afford this one. However, let's just take a quick gander at the lower cost ones. So we could try to buy this one out, for instance. Let's try 325. 350. Oh, Jessica Johnson is the. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. So I can't buy out questionable contracts because it's owned by someone else. My rival. Come on, kids. You're not that slow. Trying to rent one of my buildings to expand your little empire and compete with me? Seriously? Come on. You don't even compete. <laughs> Where This is me using binoculars. Where are you? Oh, you're all the way down there. Okay. Get out of here. All right. So let's try just jeans here. Who owns the okay building owned by Cynthia? Look at that 74,000. Let's just try a hundred thousand. Yeah. Get rid of that. Do that real quick. Close. Oh, we're doing it folks. We're, we're getting rid of Ingrid right now. This is happening. We don't want her at all any longer. Thank you. She's so picky. All right, we have 941,000 remaining. All right, let's see. What else do you have here, Ingrid? Five cups, communication hut, and questionable contracts. And I can't buy questionable contracts because of good old Jessica Johnson. You silly, silly girl. Silly lady, I should say. 
she's got quite a bit going on. We could try to start buying her out too, but I'm thinking that I still want to focus on the, the last two of these first, at least. I guess one thing that might happen is I take out her last two businesses, and I don't know what's going to happen here. I, re I really don't. But I could try to take out her last couple businesses, and maybe the negative amount will allow her to just go under. Anyway, we need 1.3 million again for this place and didn't mean to close that. 1.8. So we need 3.1 million. Let's meet back up at that point. We'll get that 3.1. Well, let's, let's go for, let's go for 4 million. That way we know for sure we'll have at least enough coverage for at least one of them. Alrighty guys, it's been a few days. And I noticed down here that Ingrid got rid of her communication hut location. So she no longer has the electronic store. It's closed. I'm pretty sure we can see that here in the garment district. Communication hut was closed on day 171. So pretty much the day after, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, Ingrid, it's time for you to go. So questionable contracts though, that still sucks. But let's get let's give it a go on this one. Five cups, 1.3 million. Let's let's buy it out. Let's see if she'll take that. Boom. She takes it. She just takes it. Take your money and run. Get out of my city. <laughs> let's get rid of these employees. Fire them all. Perfect. Alright, so. That leaves her defeated. She's defeated. No, no, no snippy text message. Do I have to wait a day? Let's let's go. Let's do a day together here. Oh, no. Ugh, you're so annoying. You're really never going to give up, are you? No. Well, I'm calling to say that garment district is yours. So congratulations, I guess. Thank you. You know what? I don't even care. My business in New York has always just been secondary for me. My empire remains in Berlin, and I hope I will never have to see you again. Auf Wiedersehen. Für immer. Auf Wiedersehen. So. This is really unacceptable. Another business. You suddenly forgot who owns this neighborhood. Me? I'm not looking for more rivals. I would rather destroy them. So you should consider if it's better business to shut down your own business. What's going on here? <laughs> we done? We good? Okay. Bye-bye, Ingrid. Cool. So we now own oh, the garment district is ours, so to speak. We are the top dog. Even though it says my primary neighborhood's midtown. That's kind of funny. Anyway, so next, Jessica Johnson, where are you? There you are. You make one million a week. That's great. Let's see. What is your top maker? Your hairdresser, styled by Todd. 5.4 million, huh? We could just take you out. How many employees do you have? That's a decent amount. They're not too bad. But yeah, we could just start taking her out next. Or we could honestly start taking out all these people, too. I feel like the primary ones make the most sense, though. I think that the top four should be our, our biggest concern first. So let's see a, a middle of the road place. What are we looking at? Three million? That's not so bad. I think a lot of this, unfortunately, will be just kind of waiting to get enough, you know, accumulated money to get this going. But I still, or I still could rather buy out her other businesses. Huang Guo is obviously going to be the most difficult to deal with, especially given the fact that he has this giant supermarket conglomerate right here making almost one and a half million well that does make one and a half million it's pretty nuts 25 million valuation i i really i mean i i know how i'm gonna get that i'm just he's gonna have to be last but i mean even terry got an 18 million location there i'm not sure for me what is my no it doesn't really tell me does it Does it tell me evaluation? I think it does. 
Of guard, that'd be really cool. If you could add a valuation for this. Huh. Whatever. Well, anyway. So, we got some work to do. I think that one thing we can actually do is maybe get some people in and get these places reopened. The only issue with that right now is I don't have the logistics for it, really. So, I'm kind of stuck with these places at the moment until I get the logistics taken care of. But, that being said, we can at least start moving in on some of Jessica Johnson's stuff here. So let's just shoot for the stars here. Let's get, you know, six and a half million or something like that and get get enough money to take her out or at least her big, her big business out. And then we'll just go top down from there. I think that's a good plan. Let's do it. It's been a few days now, so I'm up to seven point eight million dollars sitting in the bank let's see if we can get Jessica to sell to us finally let's just go with seven and a half at this point I've tried the last few days and she has not bit the last one I did was seven million so we're going with this one now she takes it perfect all right so inventory wise we are sitting at we're selling soda. Interesting. All right. We're sitting at 152 soda cans, 66 hair product. This is what we're doing with the pricing and inventory. Let's look at the schedule. 12 to 8. James Kramer is not happy. He seems to be kind of... Kind of useless here, huh? Well, I'll situate this at some point later, but let's see if we can actually get away with running this business. Let's look at our logistics here look, real quick. So we have 16 de destinations done. That's okay. We know that we have destinations for this one, so we'll just do this right now. So... We're going to get our purchasing agents done. We're going to get some hair care product. The jet cargo. Yeah, jet cargo. Okay. Let's cancel that. Let's throw on 2,500. Boom. And then we need to tell it to send that over to BCA logistics. Oh, I don't have any yet, so I have to wait. That's too bad. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what else we can do here. We have 313,000. Can we actually take one of her cheaper ones? Look how much she dropped. She went from six to nine. <laughs> Three spots from one business. How much is the fruit market? 3.6? Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. It looks like we're gonna have to wait a little bit. And it looks like I'm gonna hit that car. That's good. But that's okay. Um I th think in order for us to actually get some stuff done, I should probably concern myself with the other businesses that we opened. Which also means taking a look at the logistics overall and make sure we have all the products that we need for those businesses. And I need to get people in. Thankfully, the headhunters should be doing the brunt work at the moment, or the grunt work, I should say. So let me let me take care of that real quick, and we will catch right back up. Alright guys, we are back. So I have fixed all the stores in terms of their employees. 
and their hours, their inventory, as well as the logistics behind everything. So we're all good to go there. I'm just heading over here to take care of one little tiny problem here. Whatever reason, they decided that it made sense, the AI this is, that it made sense to only have one scale instead of two. So now there's two scales. Uh, I guess that doesn't really make sense if it's that direction. So I'm going to do that. So now this is a 30 person per hour store. For whatever reason, they handicapped it. So that's all fixed. But as you can see here, the only alerts now are Quark Express, which just needs salad, which they have. They have salad, so that's fine. And then Genuine Foods, which is out of soda soon. And that's okay. We'll we'll figure that out for sure. But yeah, we're we're good now. We're actually making. If we go to the rivals here. We're now at three and a half million a week, which is obviously pretty good. Thirty nine businesses. These four will actually increase our weekly income here soon. They were minus ten thousand because I had to go through so many days. However, I have not been able to purchase anything new, which is why I haven't brought you back until now because I have to pay the IRS 3.2 million. I have 3.8 million. I just got enough today. So we're going to go do that real quick, but I do have 800 or so thousand sitting in investments, which I can pull out. We can see if we can buy another store here from Jessica since she's now being whittled down, but let's head to the IRS. Let's get this paid and then We'll take a look and see what we can snag from her. Let's make sure I'm actually on the right path here. Yep. All right, let's blow some red lights. Nothing like, oh, doing that. <laughs> Almost an accident, but I, I recovered. Let's park across the street. Boom, good. Let's head into our favorite people. Shut up and take my money. Ah, there it all goes. Okay, let's go back. Let's get our money back here. So now we're back up to 1.1 million. What does that mean for us here? Well, Jessica, why don't you tell us? LH Fruit Market, 3 million, oof. Probably anything over 100,000 is going to be out of reach for the immediate moment. So, oops. Let's look at. Still out of reach. Wow. It'd be cool, like, if we could, ex like, expand this out, open it up just, just a little bit more. And maybe instead of saying show on map, have, like, the actual. Like value, like the valuation, and then keep this button here because we all know what this means. We all know. I mean, we're hovering over and it says "click to set as destination." I think that makes the most sense. That I could just do that, and then okay, cool. It's it's added to my destination. Okay, go to Google Maps. And there it is. It's on the map. So I don't need a show on map button. I just need a little tiny one. Anyway. Let's see if we can get, ooh, what about the gift shop? Yeah, let's get the gift shop. Let's do 350, see if she takes that. Nope, 400. And the building is at least owned by not a rival. 500,000, perfect. Okay, what's the schedule look like? Super easy, every single day. Is everyone happy? No because of course the AI does not know what it's ever doing. So we have a full timer and another full timer, part timer, part timer, four days a week, full timer. That makes sense. Anyway, boom, 16 hours, full timer. And then we can do is just be closed Saturday, Sunday. That's okay. I mean, it's not like this place is supposed to be super amazing anyway. 
Honestly, we can get rid of Tequila Adams, I think. Oh, no, we can't. All right. <laughs> tequila Lewis. I don't know why I said Adams. So let's turn that off now. So Laura Williams that day. James. Laura. James. Laura. Okay. That works. Everyone should be happy now. Everyone's happy. Excellent. Keep the doors open. It's called Dreams in New York. And now we can do the awesome and fun part of logistics, which I don't think... Yeah, I don't have anything moving over, unfortunately. So... Let's add that. Just say 240 each. Ooh, not 10,000. All right, let's go back to our central warehouse. Let's add that in there. Just call it 480. And we're not ordering expensive gifts because, of course, we aren't. <laughs> oh, boy. We're not also not getting it from them. All right. United Ocean Import, please give me some expensive gifts. Let's just do 480. That's okay. And then... Oh, we got to wait anyway. So that's, that's all right. I think the store will be fine for the next day or so. Eh. They'll be okay. They'll be fine. They'll sell stuff. All right, cool. So we got that taken care of. And we got a new store. Can we snag anything else from Jessica today? Maybe. There it is. All right, let's clear it out. What do we have working with? So a part-timer, full-timer, part-timer, part-timer. All right. Full-time, full-time, excellent, full-time. Three full-timers. That makes sense. Okay. So turn that on. Full-timer there. And then we're going to do the same offset stuff here. But let's get these guys in first. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, get rid of that, that, and that. And then we have coral. Boom, check this out. Everyone's about to be happy. Happy, 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 happy. Perfect. Excellent. We'll keep that open. We'll change the name here. We'll call it, I don't know, where is it at? Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Coffee. My background is horrible. There we go. Perfect. All right. Inventory looks okay. I'm not going to worry about the pricing right now. Get the logistics done for this one as well. Call it 400. All right, we got to make sure we're sending a lot more because... Let's see, I think it's CSA. Where are, yeah, let's do. Where's my cups of coffee? There they are, okay. 
Uh, let's do 1,200. I think that makes more sense. 1,200. Perfect. All right, let's order that up. Last time, we'll look right over here. Or let's sort that by name. I'm gonna go to coffee. Mm, Two thousand. Okay, and I gotta wait for donuts. Unfortunately, that's all right. Cool. So they're set up. We're down to eighty-eight thousand. I think it's time to move the day forward. See where we stand. I just had a great idea. I wanted to share with you. What if I extended all of my business's inventory with exactly what you're selling? Imagine the lab demand. Imagine how hard it would be for you to keep up your revenue. That's a real good idea, I think. That would be a good idea if you actually could accomplish something that would actually put a dent in my business. Let's see, low demand for what? What did she open? Hairdressers? <laughs> You opened hairdressers. Oh, that's funny. You're funny, Jessica. Okay. What? How is it worth 5.6 million already? Excuse me, but that is not how this is supposed to work. What a weirdo. Anyway, guys, well, this is where we stand. We're still at three and a half million. We actually did dip for a day. No idea why there was nothing going on, but we've climbed right back up to where we almost were about 30,000 short, roughly 28,000, something like that. But we are still doing really, really well. 41 businesses now, all of them except for Speakeasy Nightclub and Absinthe Club are making money. I'm not sure why Speakeasy is not having a good time. They're not closed. Okay, well, that's not a big deal. We'll figure it out at some point. It's so, not something that I'm too concerned about. It's not dragging me down, so to speak. So we're good on the alerts. Everything is taken care of. These are just things that are, they're 24 hour places. So it's whatever. But yeah, I think it's actually a good place to stop. We eliminated Ingrid. She is now gone. We are in the process of bringing Jessica down. However, she did just open six, six new hair salons. It's all because I took her hair salon to begin with, so that's why she's all mad. But uh, we'll take care of these here. Again, I'm not sure how something like this could be worth so much when it's only making 30000 a day. But it is. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take care of Jessica in the next video for sure. Guys, I thank you very much for watching. If you have not done so yet, go ahead and hit that button below and subscribe. If you like the video give it a thumbs up i appreciate it and of course as always i'll see you in the next one bye bye